Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into an recently introduced awesome feature in Microsoft Intune called Device Inventory. It's all about helping you collect and view detailed hardware data from your devices. So you can make a smarter business decisions. So let's break it down. So what exactly is Device Inventory? With Intune, these features let you collect and view hardware details from your managed Windows devices. Think of it as a powerful way to understand the health and the state of your device. It's a great for making decisions like when to upgrade hardware or troubleshoot issues. And the best part, it's super easy to set up using Microsoft Intune configuration profile. Now let's talk about who can use the device inventory. So there are some prerequisites to use the device inventory. The very first one is the device must be corporate owned and managed through Intune. Second one is they must be Microsoft Entra join. And, and finally, you need a specific permission in Intune to either set it up or view the data. So to configure the inventory policy, you need device configuration, create permission and to view the collected data, you need the managed device read permission. And we have to ensure that the device must be running on the Windows 10 or later. And these are the minimum supported version. And if your device meet these requirements, you will be able to use the device inventory feature. Now let's see some of the key benefits of device inventory. The device inventory helps you to plan hardware upgrade more efficiently. You will get insights into the health and the state of your devices and it simplifies troubleshooting by giving you detailed hardware information. Overall, it's a game changer for Intune admin managing the fleets of devices. Now let's see how we can enable the enhanced device inventory. So to enable this, we have to go to the Intune portal. We have to go to the devices. And then we have to go to the Windows platform. This enhanced device inventory feature is now currently available for Windows devices. And then we have to create a configuration profile. And then we have to click on create and create a new profile. And now we have to select the platform Windows 10 and later. And here in the profile type, we should see something called properties catalog. Now we have to start creating a properties catalog. Click on create. And here you have to provide the meaningful name. So I'm going to provide collect enhance hardware inventory. Same thing in the description and click on next and in the configuration properties we have to add the properties so now we have battery as an property and we have bios information and then we have cpu we have disk drive we have encrypted volume logical drives memory information network information os version information system enclosure time EPM, video controller, and then uh, Windows QFE. You can also select the specific property like within the BIOS information. If you are only interested to check the main structural serial number and SMS BIOS, you can select these options and then you can also delete the non relevant options. One of the important points some of the options within the in properties is by default selected when you are selecting this property. And then you cannot change that options. So once you are done with this, like I am able to see that we have 97 properties and I have selected all the properties just to show you for the demo purpose. But in production environment, make sure that you select only the relevant one and whatever you need for your troubleshooting and for decision purpose. And then click on next. And now we can see that all the options are automatically refreshed for every 24 hour. As of now, we don't have any option to change the refresh frequency. Maybe in future, we will get some control on this option. And then click on next. And then click on next. And in the assignment, we have to search for the group on which you want to deploy this policy. For now, I am okay with all devices. But you can take a small subset of devices and deploy this for testing purpose. And then click on next and then click on create. 
now we have successfully created a policy to collect the enhanced hardware inventory and to save our time i have already created a policy deployed on the device and now i am also getting a information in the intune portal so if i open this testing policy we can see that this is showing successful on one device and if we go down we can see that this policy is assigned to all the devices we can also see that the configuration setting is configured for all the options or all the properties available as of now in the intune portal and now if we go to the device click on that device we can see that a new blade within the monitor called resource explorer and if we click on the resource explorer we can see all the properties like battery information like we can see that all the information related to battery for this test device we can also see the bios information this is a hyper v machine and all this information related to bios all the information related to cpu all the information related to the disk drive information related to encryptable volume information related to logical drives e drive d drive and information related to memory information information related to network adapter information related to os version system and closure information if we can see all the informations and we also have an option to export the information information related to time and then tpm very important when you are doing a upgrade from 10 to 11 then we have a video controller inform related information and then we have a windows qfe which i think is a very important information to know with what all updates installed on your device like we can see that these are the kb articles installed on the device and this is the device name and this update is installed by user or by system and then we can also see that the installation date whether it's an update or security update and the last update time also so this is very important when you are doing some troubleshooting related to your patching issues and then you if you want to know that what what is the latest update installed on your device you can come to this place and see what all update is installed on the device whether it's installed by user or by system one of the important point or might be a question you have in your mind what is the difference between resource explorer and then hardware because if you check the hardware you also have some of the basic information so what is the difference between resource explorer and hardware and which option we have to use or which plate we have to use to find the right information as per microsoft the hardware tab and the resource explorer data come from the different places and microsoft is recommending to use the resource explorer because this is providing you the most up-to-date and comprehensive data about your device and in future maybe the resource explorer data and the hardware data will be same more important point if you are using a co-managed with tenant attached then you will be able to see the two resource explorer one resource explorer for the intune collected data and the other resource explorer tab for the configuration manager collected data and we can use any of the resource explorer that best fits your use case now till now we just saw that what will happen when you enable the policy and you are getting a data and how you are going to explore the data now let's talk about what is happening when you are actually deploying the policy on the device and how it is going to send the data to the intune so basically when you are creating a device inventory profile and deploy to the device Intune is going to install an agent like when you are deploying any script or Win32 application. Intune is going to install a Intune management extension in the same way. Intune is going to install an agent. Let me open the services and if you search for a service called Microsoft Device Inventory Agent, we can see that this is a service which is responsible for collecting the information from the device and uploading in the intune portal 
so we have a service and same thing if we go for app which dot cpl we can also see that this is an application which is automatically installed when you are actually creating a device inventory profile we can also see some of the things like if we go to the registry and go to the hklm software microsoft and within the microsoft if you go down and open enterprise desktop application we can see that we have two msi application one is the intune management extension and other one is actually a agent adopter if you go to the download url list and copy this url you can also download this let me try if i can download now you can see that inventory adopter packaging dot msi is automatically installed so this is the application which is installed automatically when you are creating a device inventory profile once this application is installed this application is basically installed in the c drive within the program file we have a folder called microsoft device inventory agent we can see the inventory service folder inventory adopter folders and we also have a log and within log we have two logs intune inventory harvester dot log and intune adapter dot log so basically if you want to troubleshoot anything why my machine is not sending any data we can check the intune harvester dot log let me open this log you can see some of the errors that's okay we can see that the battery percent harvesting is 100% and we can see that it's processing a policy id this one and the setting id is windows device inventory windows qfe hotfix qfe description and we can also see that update data something like that battery in shared db battery in shared db cpu disk drive encryption logical so it's basically collecting all the information and then sharing this information with the intune portal and at the same time if you go to the registry again and if you go to the enrollments and go to the key now here we can see that we have a new folder called linked enrollment and we can also see something like mmpc which is basically a microsoft managed platform cloud which is used to exchange that information between device and intune and if you go little bit up in within the microsoft uh, we can see that we have a new folder called device information and within device information we have a report section and we can see that we have all the properties whatever we configured in this policy and if we expand this folder we have three sub folders called adapter status harvester status and the uploader status so basically if you check the uploader status it is showing that 200 meaning that uploaded successfully harvester status is also showing as 200 meaning that it's harvested successfully and adapter status is also showing as 200 if you have any issue any error you will able to see something like here in this data registry value so we have all the informations and now once the device is getting all the information machine is uploading all these information automatically in the intune portal so that's all i want to show you in this video what is anans device inventory and how to configure the anans device inventory i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video